Hello, wonderful people of the interwebs. This is gonna be a little bit of a different video. Uh, what I don't normally do this on my channel because I fix cars and drift on this channel. But today, since it's a YouTube channel, and I'm sure a lot of you are YouTubers, I'm gonna go over what I feel is like good vlog setups since I'm changing mine up at the moment. Right now, I use a Canon T6i with a Rode VideoMic Pro, and it gives me decent results. You know what I mean? But I've been having an issue with it where it says video recording has been stopped automatically even though the battery is brand new the card is empty and it'll just stop and I lose a lot of footage and I'm getting really sick of it so I went out and I got myself um, some add-ons for my GoPro um, so I have a GoPro 7 that I use in my car on my helmet and it does a pretty good job so I got a case that houses the GoPro mic adapter um, which allows me to use a mic with a GoPro this is a GoPro 7 Black and uh, has the case that houses that mic adapter, uh, a cold shoe mount on the top of it, which I'm going to be using for this light. Um, and then a little microphone here, Ceramonics, I don't know what the hell it's called, but I haven't even tried any of this yet. All I know is this works. That's it. So um, I'll be going through a couple different microphones on this GoPro, like the ones I use for my camera, like my, my Rode Video mic. Pro, for instance, I have Ceramonics mic, I have a Taxstar SGC 598, and I have a Rode Video Mic Go. Uh, yeah, so this is my normal vlog setup right now, the, um, the Canon. It's bulky, it's big. Kind of want to downsize as well because it's just getting annoying now carrying around a cam with a giant lens on the front of it and a big furry microphone on top. I'll try out this GoPro and see what it looks like. So here's the GoPro. Okay, so this is the GoPro 7 with the uh, Ceramonics mic. I have no idea how this sounds because I have never tried it yet. This is literally the first time of me trying it. Um, I have all of my settings, so they're all set to allow raw audio and um, it's got a 20 dB uh, mic input boost. It raises the input going into the camera for the microphone and uh, thus reducing the noise floor so you won't really hear uh, any hissing or anything like that that's very common with Canons which is why I have that video mic pro but yeah other than that I, I don't know how this mic is gonna sound I have no idea I have never even really seen any reviews of it or anything but um, yeah so I'm gonna I'll turn my little lights off here and um, we'll see how this LED light works okay that one's off that one's off so here here it is right now I don't have any any of my soft boxes on or anything so um, this is just the GoPro vision in like dimly lit room so I'll go ahead and turn on this so like here's the lowest setting uh, I don't know what it's doing because I can't see but um, I'll go like there we are now it's at high setting which it's very bright I kind of wish it had a like a diffuser put on there which I might have to see if I can get for it but this is a little too bright for me right now, so let's stick it down to the low setting. Okay, so there it is, low setting. Uh, again, I still don't know how this microphone's gonna sound, but I'll turn this off, put the soft boxes back on. From what I've do been doing research on, I feel like this is probably gonna be a pretty decent little compact setup to have. Uh, right now it's on a tripod, so obviously that's not gonna be compact. It should really help me out, because um, I could just press one button and start recording which is amazing, I don't have to fiddle with turning mics on and then turning the camera on and then setting my white balance and all this stuff. I have the GoPro set to auto on a lot of stuff, except for audio because I do have background in audio. And um, it basically does everything for me. Like, I don't like color correcting, so I have the GoPro set to GoPro color. I could set it to flat and color correct myself, but I just don't want to. I want to be able to just put out a video quickly, easily, and be done with it. Okay, so this is the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is my favorite microphone that I have. It sounds fantastic. It is a powered microphone, an active microphone, but this allows you to boost the input by 20 decibels. Um, I have that turned off right now because the camera itself I have doing that. Yeah, this is my favorite microphone. It sounds absolutely fantastic on anything, and I have the dead cat on it, so when I'm filming outside of drift events, it um, gets rid of a lot of the wind noise, and while it's still there, it doesn't overpower the source that I am pointing the microphone at. This is also a shotgun microphone, so it really does help out with 
where you're pointing the camera, where you're pointing the microphone, and it will focus on that voice coming from that person's mouth. So it is a great microphone. It was, I think, 220 bucks, something like that, but it's well worth every single penny. This is the only microphone I found that will work with a Canon and provide zero hiss, so you will have actual good on-camera audio. So yeah, now we're back on the ceremonics. I do plan to also run a little lav mic inside of my helmet so I could actually talk in vlogs while I am in the car. Um, I do plan to try to run some type of dual microphone setup because I do have like little preamps that go on top of cameras and stuff and you can mix them in with the dials on there and um, I'll try to get like car audio and camera audio kind of mixed together but I doubt I'm gonna actually end up doing that. So yeah, this is my new little setup that I plan to run. Let me know what you think of it, because I don't even know what it sounds like. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.